I'm Johnny Reps from Crash Love Gaming, and this is Johnny Rants. So anyway, today's rant is about something that it's kind of painful for me, so I'm gonna have to roll up my sleeves. Today's rant is about Sony. Sony has had several missteps in the past year, I believe, and they have fucked up, and now it's time for Johnny Rants to tear him a fucking new one. At the end of this video, if you want to fast forward, you fast forward at the end of this video if you want just the ranting part. If you want the information and you want the meat and potatoes, here it comes right now. First of all, misstep number one, PlayStation Plus price increased. I know in my rant about that, um, I said that it's not that big of a deal. The PlayStation Plus price increase is not that big of a deal. But that was before, first of all, before I fucking forgot to buy a bunch of subscriptions before the price went up. So now I gotta pay 70 damn Canadian dollars for the damn subscription. While I am still not extremely pissed about the price increase, in a bubble, the price increase is theoretically not that bad. It's not like it's the end of the world, right? 10 bucks a month is not that big of a deal. That's not my concern. My concern is the fact of the matter is that the price has increased and the quality of the content has not yet, and it doesn't seem like it's going to. It actually seems to be going the other way. Um, Xbox uh, Games with Gold, the content, the quality of it has been going up. That is undoubtedly a fact. In 2014 and 15, Sony had the advantage. This year, I don't think so. I think it's probably closer, getting closer to even, and Xbox might even be getting, you know, the advantage on Sony, which is also uh, down to opinion, but it sucks. And, like, as someone who was a big proponent, like, I was like, oh, PlayStation Plus is awesome, free games, they made everybody have to up their, their ante, they made Xbox have to, so Microsoft have to up their ante to match them and give away free games each month as well. You know what? Fuck. I mean, and Sony started the game, but now they're falling behind. That's... That's not good. Number two, the PlayStation 4 Slim. Okay, um, PlayStation 4 Slim, in theory, is a decent idea. Um, it's a slimmer version of the PlayStation 4. Uh, I didn't really think the PlayStation 4 was bulky to begin with. I'm looking at it right over there next to my PlayStation 3 Slim, and the PS4 is actually probably smaller than the PlayStation 3 Slim. Why are you giving us a, ple uh, a slim version of the PS4? Because it really doesn't add anything other than a smaller console and less power draw. I mean, look at the specs. The specs of the damn thing. It has the same fucking hard drive as the original PlayStation 4, a 500 gig hard drive. There's the, uh, the Xbox, Xbox, Xbone Slim. It's shipped one terabyte hard drive in that fucking Xbox Slim. And, you know, the PS4 Slim has the same fucking hard drive as the launch PS4. Like, what are you doing, Sony? They didn't increase the battery life on the controller. Same old, same old battery life. Same old shit. There's no UHD Blu-ray drive. The Xbox One S has the same, it's the same price, and it has a fucking UHD Blu-ray drive. It also supports 4K, 4K video streaming, which the PS4 Slim does not. So it is, when the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One both shipped, the PlayStation 4 obviously outclassed the Xbox One, but now the Slim versions of both consoles are out there the same price, and the Xbox is better by a mile. So Sony's just rested. This is resting on your laurels at the to the greatest degree. They're releasing nothing new. They're releasing a new version of a console, but there's nothing new about it. It's just smaller. It's the same fucking thing. Yeah, they may have changed um, the Wi-Fi capabilities and made them a little bit better, and they might have changed up, made it smaller and more power efficient, and they changed up the, you know, the design of it so it looks less like a sandwich, but who the fuck cares? Where is the meat and potatoes. It's, there is none. It's the same fucking console. All right, enough about the Slim. I, I'm not going to make the whole thing about the Slim, but it obviously has a lot of problems. PlayStation 4 Pro, it's $100 more than the Slim, which is now going to be the standard PlayStation 4. It is also splitting the user base, Sony's user base. Okay, first of all, the place, Sony already has three consoles that they're actively supporting, the PS3, the Vita, and the PS4. And now they're bringing out the PS4 Slim and the PS4 uh, Pro. Essentially, they're splitting their user base up even more. It doesn't make sense to me from um, a business perspective. Why not just release the Pro or, you know... <sighs> The Slim, it makes the Slim even more unnecessary than it already was. And you're sp they're splitting the fucking... I mean, yeah, sure, they're all going to have the same games, or will they? Um, will they? The games are going to perform better on the PlayStation 4. Um, as anybody who doesn't own a PlayStation, who, why would you buy a Slim? And also, as anybody who already owns 
a PlayStation 4, why would you buy a Slim anyway? So who the fuck's gonna buy the Slim? Who's gonna buy the Slim? I mean, and it's also so how, like why, honestly, as a gamer and a Sony fan, like I'd be more inclined to buy a freaking Xbox One Slim than a PlayStation 4 Slim, even if I didn't have a PlayStation 4 already, to be honest. Sony's just making, they're digging themselves an even deeper hole. Also, VR. We all know VR is gonna be a big thing with Sony. They're releasing the PlayStation VR. More on that in a second. But. Sony doesn't even mention anything about VR on the PlayStation Pro's page. Sony already losing faith in VR. It hasn't even come out yet. I think they actually probably should be, to be honest. But the main page for the console on Sony's uh, website doesn't even mention PlayStation VR. Like, I mean, it's supposed to be this big new thing and you're not hearing anything about it. And that moves me on to PlayStation VR itself. The price of PlayStation VR is 4 hundred dollars without the console so you also need a playstation 3 minimum a slim and then you also need a fucking compatible game so after taxes and everything you're looking at a thousand fucking dollars just to play the goddamn playstation vr like really google's releasing the daydream and that's projected to be somewhere between 100 and 200 dollars i don't think they actually released a price on it yet and you can use it with your smartphone right so i mean is this thing gonna be another power glove like God, I hope not, but I'm not, I know I'm not buying one. So as a Sony fan, I'm starting to fucking, like, I'm starting to panic. Well, I'm not panicking because, you know, it's not like I have stock in Sony or I fucking work for them. But I'm starting to see, like, the same thing happening with Sony that was happening with Microsoft last gen. So Sony's, like, setting themselves up for another turnaround. Because, you know, during the uh, last gen, the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox obviously competed pretty fiercely. Sony started off at a super, super disadvantage, right? Like they had a really weak launch. They had really weak sales numbers in the beginning. And the PlayStation 4 was, PlayStation 3, sorry, was panned for, you know, it has no games, blah, 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 blah. The, the, the jokes, it's like, oh yeah, my girlfriend said she was busy playing PlayStation 3, but it has no games, you know? So she was cheating on me, that's, that's the joke. Yeah, PlayStation 3 was behind last gen to start and Sony kind of narrowed the gap toward the end of the console life cycle to where the Xbox and the PlayStation 3 were kind of, PlayStation 3 was actually beating the Xbox 360 in sales for a while. And I think at the end of the console life cycles, they were close to even on the sale, the sales numbers. PS3 might've actually pulled ahead at near there. And from what I'm, I mean, PlayStation 4 is obviously way ahead of Xbox One right now in sales numbers, but they're really not setting themselves up to continue that trend. They are setting themselves up to fucking nosedive. Any one of these things on their own is not that big of a deal, but combine them together and like, are you really attracting new customers? Are you really attracting your user base to continue, uh, you know, buying your products, buying your consoles, uh, playing your games when you're doing, releasing, like you're being so underwhelming and the competition is obviously ahead of you? No, not even me. Not, I've owned every console since the PlayStation, every Sony console since the PlayStation 1 and not even I am like thinking Sony is doing, is, is going the right, and they're heading in the right direction right now. Like, ah. Uh, Go on forums, like read shit. Like I know there's tons of shit posting on forums, obviously. By the way, please shit post on our video because I would love to fucking, com I would love to fucking, I'd love to go to war with one of you, some people. Um, <laughs> because why not? It could be fun. But anyway, uh, shit posts abound. Uh, there's shit like No Man's Sky. Watch my rant on that, by the way. I gotta plug my rants. You just, what are you doing, Sony? Um, so I got a rant. So I'm gonna put on my Beats headphones. These aren't even Beats. Fuck that, my nose on. All right, I'm gonna rant. Fuck, so Sony, listen, I've been in your fucking corner since the days of the PlayStation 1. I defended you and your fucking PlayStation 3 with its shitty online capabilities. Okay, they were free, but that's what I told all my friends. I said, yeah, PlayStation 3 is free. All my friends had fucking Xboxes. Guess what? You know why? Because their online was better. I didn't want to pay 50 a year and so did other cheap ass pieces of shit didn't want to either. I stuck with you. I stuck with you because you had the games I liked. I didn't care about Gears of War. I didn't care about Halo. I liked Uncharted. I liked fucking, you know, Ratchet and Clank. I liked Resistance. I stuck with you. I mean, no one else fucking likes those games. You know, I liked that shit. And I stuck with you from the beginning to the end. PlayStation 1 to PlayStation 4 the whole way. And this is the type of shit you give me. Console War was lost last generation if it weren't for people like me coming back, telling our friends the PS3 is more powerful than the Xbox, even though everything else about it sucks. But it's the size of a goddamn brick and you can kill somebody if you drop it. Like, ugh.
I can't, and, and then this year, like we're like, oh yeah, thank God, PlayStation 4 generation, everything's going great. Like, Xbox took it, they're, they're going to make you pay for used games, and they didn't, but everybody thought they were going to, um, but they didn't. Uh, so everybody was mad at Xbox, even though they didn't do that. Um, so nobody wanted to buy a Microsoft console, and then PlayStation 4, yeah, they're doing so good, look at all these great games, and look at all this great content, and then this year it's like, what the fuck just happened? Like, you're increasing your price. You're fucking splitting your user base. You're doing this... You're re releasing inferior products. You're decreasing the quality of your PlayStation Plus. Like, everything's just... And again, on any of those things on its own, it's not too bad. But what has is, what is Sony... What have you done for me lately? What have, what have you positively done that is good this year, Sony? Fucking tell me. Tell me! So that's the end of my fucking rant for today. If you like the rant, make sure to like the video, subscribe to our video, subscribe to our channel, subscribe to Stone Mountain 64's channel. He has some good Death Star content right now from Star Wars Battlefront that we don't because you know what? I'm not fucking buying that DLC. And even if EA gave it to me, I'd tell them to stick up their ass because all 59 of our subscribers, uh, you know, they stick, they agree with our, our stance on, uh, you know, overpriced DLC. Um, so watch my rant on that too while you're at it. Um, so anyway, like our channel, subscribe to it, like us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, what else we got? Twitch, CrashLive37, Twitch, Twitch, myself, Johnny Reps. Um, and uh, if Stone Mountain 64 is watching this, uh, or if any of our subscribers are watching this, please comment Stone Mountain and tell them to fucking collab with us. And maybe, just maybe someday that will happen. It won't. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah. You can play my outro right now. Uh, Yahoo! I'm here today to talk to you about Star Wars Battlefront, um, the season pass for this game. And before anybody asks, yes, that is Scooby-Doo playing the bass on my hat. And yes... I did get this hat out of a claw machine. So, Star Wars...